As a realtor, there are so many things to do and keep up with that it can be exhausting and overwhelming at times, especially when it's something like replying to the reviews left on your Google business page. And if you've watched any of my other videos on optimizing your Google business profile, you know that you need to get as many reviews as you can, but you also need to be replying to those reviews, but it's just another task to keep up with. Well, today I'm gonna to show you in this video, step-by-step, step, how you can take AI to automatically respond to those reviews in real time where it's like you were responding yourself and not just another robot text response. So if you wanna learn how to automate this task and take that off your plate, Keep watching. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 15 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you wanna see more content like this, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you wanna get my training, resources, coaching, and courses for free at no extra cost or split to you, take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And you could do that by clicking the link below to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more and see what that looks like. So let's dive into today's topic. Like I said in the beginning of the video, sometimes it can be exhausting being a realtor because there's so many things to do and keep up with and sometimes you don't have the budget for an assistant and so you need some type of automation and there's a lot of tools out there like Zapier that can automate your real estate business and one of the automations that we're going to look at today is automating your replies to the Google reviews that are left and not only is this courteous to say thank you to the person that left you the review but it also helps us rank locally you've seen my other pages where I talk about getting reviews, but we need to be replying to those reviews as well and help us rank locally. Now, you're probably thinking, no, I want to reply myself because I want that human touch. But the great thing is when we, we take the power of AI like ChatGPT and we integrate that into an automation platform like Zapier, we can get that human touch because ChatGPT is going to read that review and reply appropriately based on the preferences and the instructions that we give ChatGPT. So what I want to do today is show you how to take another task off your plate and we're going to automate the replies to our Google reviews and I'm going to show you step by step how to do that in Zapier so you can automate this and again another task to take off your plate. So let's dive in. So now I'm sharing my screen and I have Zapier up so you will need a Zapier account at least the starter plan to do this. And you will also need your ChatGPT account. And you're going to need to have credits in there because this takes what they call tokens uh, to, to use that API to get that response instead of manually logging into ChatGPT. So um, I'll do some other videos around that and I'll show you as we go what that looks like. But you will need to load it. I just loaded with $5. That will actually last you quite a while. Um, and so you can use this for other tasks as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a zap. Now you can do like I showed you in the previous videos, you can type in what you would like it to do. You can say, uh, automatically reply to Google business review with chat GPT. And then we can say, generate and then if it doesn't get it right then we can fix it so uh, so we'll let it generate for us or you can go to and say create a zap now it did it so now we're going to watch for a new review and when a new review happens we're going to send a prompt to chat gpt and then when chat gpt gives us the response we're going to come back and create a reply to google my business now i'll show you how to do the zap manually too in case that beta feature is not available for you Again, you could do it right here, but our trigger is when do we want to start this workflow, right? And so we're going to do Google business and then it still has Google my business. It needs to be updated, but so we have Google my business. Okay. And then we're going to choose the event. So anytime there's a new review, it's going to trigger an action. Okay. So we hit continue. Now you will need to log into your Google business profile. And when you do that, hit continue. Now, you're going to choose the location. Sometimes, you know, with your login, you can have multiple business profiles. So choose the one that you want. Hit continue. 
Now it's going to test your trigger and make sure that it is available. So here I have three reviews in this profile. So I'm going to take one here. I think I'll use this one because it is going to reply to it. So make sure you choose one that you want it to reply to. So we'll say continuous selected record. And then what is our action? Well, one, we need chat GPT to generate a response. Okay. So now we have chat GPT. Now the event is we want to do a conversation. So we're going to click that, click continue. Now you will need to be logged into your chat GPT account. You will have to do an API. So if I say reconnect, it'll bring up this page. This is what it's going to look like for you to link that when you click create an API key, it will open up a page and I'll go ahead and show you. And then I already have a key created, but if you create a new secret key, give it a name. So I just named it Zapier and then you click create secret key and then you will copy it. Now, once you copy it, there's no getting that key back. It's not going to show you. So you would just have to create a new one if you lost it. But once you have that, copy it. And then what you're going to do, let me pull that back up, is you'll put your API key in here and say continue with ChatGBT. But I'm not going to reconnect. I'm just going to say continue. Now, I'm only going to show you the things you need to worry about in this and what it means, okay? Um, so when you have the user message, okay, this is basically what you want it to analyze. So the user's message will be the review, okay? So you see here, it's pulled all the data from the review and it's got the person's name, um, it's got the review name, their account, the star rating, all of that stuff. So we want it to pull the actual review and it's gonna be the comment right here. So that is the user message. Uh, the model, just leave that. Uh, memory key, I just tend to give it the ID so it remembers. And this is if you wanted to continue a conversation. This would be more important when you're doing um, kind of a chat with the person. If you wanted to have it automatically respond to your chats, which we'll be doing those in a later video. The user's name. So obviously, we're going to select the reviewer name and the assistant name. I just honestly, I'm going to have it respond as if we're doing it. So I'm going to say Jacob and Miguel. And here are your instructions. So I already have pre-written some instructions here. So this is what I put. Jacob and Miguel are a realtor team in, in the Houston area. They help clients buy and sell properties. You're applying to the client review. Keep the reply short and simple and customize the reply to what the user wrote. Keep it under two sentences. Give it a human touch. Reply as if we, the owners are replying to the review. Um, if you have it reply and you don't tell it to reply as you, then it's going to reply like your assistant is replying and that's okay. They just want to see somebody's replying. And that's great. Max tokens is how much, what is the maximum number of tokens that you want to spend to reply? I've just left it as this. Um, there's no need because this is not like a big project. And then we'll say continue. Now, if you do not have a balance in your um, your OpenAI account, you will have to add that. It'll send you a prompt and tell you there's not enough tokens or credits available. So what you'll do is you'll click on that link that it gives you and you'll go to your billing page and then you'll have to put some credit in. You can put credit in where it doesn't automatically bill you. I literally just put $5 and then I think it's only used a penny so far. So um, it takes quite a few thousand uh, tokens um, to actually take money. So go read up on it. This is very inexpensive and definitely worth the money to have it auto reply. Okay. So basically what's happening is when we test this, okay, we say test step is going to take that data and you're going to be able to see what the reply is. Okay. Before it moves on to the next step. And the reason why this is important is that way you can go back and re-give it different set of instructions. If you feel like the chat is too long, it's not personal enough, or maybe it's too personal, you don't like what it's saying, you can go and tell ChatGPT how you want to make the response. So, so this was the review right here, okay? And if we scroll down, 
This is the response, the role of the assistant and what they said. Thank you so much for your kind words, Christian. We truly appreciate your recommendation. We are thrilled to hear you had such a positive experience with Jacob and Miguel. Providing unmatched reliability and expertise is something we strive for in every real estate transaction. And it goes on there. So I don't necessarily like that. Thank you so much for your kind words. And then here you go. Here's another one that it gives. And so it will respond on that one. So we strive to provide top-notch services and expertise to our clients in Houston area. And then it'll give another one, okay? So what we do is we're going to click over here because we need to add another step, okay? And so our next action is going to be to actually submit the replies. So we'll do Google Business again, okay? And then we're going to actually submit the reply. So GPT generated the conversation. And so we have that data, but now we actually need to actually create a reply. So we'll create a reply, say continue. And you're already logged in. So we need the review name. So this is very important that you go from the data from the review and we need that review name right here. Not the reviewer name, the review name, because this gives the actual uh, name to the account and that actual individual uh, review. And then for the reply, we're going to go to chat GPT and we're going to select reply. And then once we have that reply, we're going to say continue test step. Now it's actually going to submit the reply. So if I come over here and I go to the JM Realty Group page, and I go down to the reviews. And now I look for Christian's review. Now we have a response. So thank you so much for your kind words. We truly appreciate your recommendation and are thrilled to hear that you had such a positive experience with Jacob and Miguel providing unmatched reliability and expertise. And then it goes in. So now that review is automatically replied, response from owner, and now we have that. So once you have that the way you like it, we're going to say publish. But first, we're going to do automa automatically reply to Google business reviews. And if you have multiple pages, you can put, you know, um, if it's, you know, for us, JM Realty Group, you can label that page specifically, or you can throw it into a folder for that particular business. But once you have that, you're going to say publish. And now when somebody leaves a review, they're automatically going to reply. Now, like I said, if you don't like the way it's responding, go through and then, you know, here, if we edit this again, here in the action section, we can give it different inst instructions. Remember, the assistant instructions, you have to instruct how you want it to reply. You can give it kind of a um, an example reply. You can tell it. I want them to reply to what they're saying. So if they say, you know, they're professionals, they're great to work with, they, they were great negotiators, I wanted to kind of mention, so it doesn't give that same reply to everybody and just change their names. Now, if you wanted to reply to a, just a short message like, Thank you. We appreciate your review. Thank you for doing business with us and have them just put their first name in. You can tell it to do that. Remember, it will do exactly what you tell it to. Um, and again, it's AI. It's not perfect, but this is a great way to get response and take that automatic review off of your plate. All right. So I hope that information was helpful and it's just another way to take a task off of your plate and automate your business. And remember, Zapier is like 35 bucks a month. It's like getting an assistant to do all of these redundant tasks for you and free up time so you can focus on income producing activities. So I hope you get that implemented. Take the time to set that up. If you have any questions, what we went over, feel free to leave those in the comments below, as well as if any there's any training topics that you want me to cover or go over, I would love to do that and see what you guys need help with. So leave those in the comments below or reach out to me directly with my contact information below. And if you want to partner with me and get all of my 
resources, training, courses, and coaching for free, just like this content that I am doing for you and even more, then go ahead and click that link below to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And if you want to keep seeing content like this, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.